Notable representative LLMs. As we explore large language models and the techniques that underpin their success, it's worth shedding some light on the other significant players in the LLM space, examining their contributions, methodologies, and the unique challenges they address. In a prior video, we delved into the transformative landscape of large language models, highlighting the remarkable strides made by the GPT, Llama, and Palm families. These models, developed by leading tech giants OpenAI, Meta, and Google respectively, have set new benchmarks in natural language processing with their vast capabilities in language understanding, generation, and the emergence of novel applications. From the evolution of GPT models to the open source breakthroughs of Llama and the pioneering training methodologies of Palm, the discourse painted a comprehensive picture of the current state of LLM technology, underscoring their profound impact on the field. Building upon this foundation, we venture into the realm of additional influential LLMs that while not a part of the three big LLM families, have still contributed to propelling the domain forward. Models like Flan, Gopher, Tio, Arnie 3.0, Retro, Glam, Lambda, Opt, Chinchilla, Galactica, Cogen, Alexa TM, Sparrow, Minerva, Mod, Bloom, GLM, Pythia, Orca, Starcoder, Cosmos, and Gemini represent the diversity and innovation that continue to enrich the LLM ecosystem. Each of these models, through unique approaches such as instruction tuning, multitask learning, knowledge enhancement, retrieval augmentation, and multimodal capabilities, has contributed to expanding the boundaries of what LLMs can achieve. Their developments reflect the ongoing exploration and experimentation that characterize the dynamic nature of AI research, offering new perspectives on efficiency, scalability, domain specificity, and multimodal interaction. This graph illustrates the performance of a language model known as FLAN, which stands for Fine-Tuned Language Net. It shows the comparison of instruction tuning with pre-trained fine-tune and prompting. This model, developed by Wei et al., is particularly noteworthy for its application of instruction tuning, a method of fine-tuning pre-trained language models with 137 billion parameters in this case, to improve their ability to understand and execute tasks described in natural language without needing specific task training. This is referred to as zero-shot learning. Flan was trained on a diverse range of over 60 NLP datasets, each rephrased with natural language instructions to form what are essentially task descriptions. This process significantly enhanced Flan's zero-shot learning capabilities, meaning it could perform tasks it had never explicitly seen during training by following instructions given in natural language. The graph captures the stark performance contrasts between models with varying numbers of parameters, 1.3 billion, 13 billion, and 175 billion, with Flan being the 175 billion parameter model. Three curves represent each model's accuracy across different scenarios. Zero shot, the model receives no example to solve a new task. One shot, the model gets a single example to learn from. Few shot, the model sees a few examples before attempting the task. The x-axis displays the number of examples in context, ranging from zero to 10,000, while the y-axis represents the accuracy percentage. Two conditions are plotted for each model size. Natural language prompt, where the task is introduced with an explanatory prompt. No prompt, where the model attempts the task without any explanatory context. For FLAN, 175 billion parameters, both zero-shot and few-shot performance are plotted with and without natural language prompts. It's clear that FLAN excels, particularly when it can utilize natural language prompts, indicating its sophisticated ability to interpret and use instructional language for task performance. The accuracy of FLAN increases sharply in the one-shot context, indicating its robust capacity to rapidly adapt to new tasks with minimal data. As more examples are provided, the performance continues to improve, highlighting the efficiency of the instruction tuning method. This ability of FLAN to significantly outperform smaller models, even in a zero-shot context, underscores the importance of scale in language model performance. The graph serves as a compelling visualization of how model size and instruction tuning combine to enable more human-like understanding of language and tasks by AI models. Gopher is a large natural language model developed by DeepMind and released on December 8, 2021. During training, Gopher utilized 280 billion parameter, surpassing its main competitor, GPT-3. DeepMind claims that Gopher outperformed the existing large language models at the time in many tasks, especially in answering questions related to logic reasoning, humanities subjects, with answers approaching human-level accuracy. This shows the model architecture details of Gopher with different number of parameters. The table summarizes the architecture details of the Gopher language model across various scales, as analyzed by Ray et al. The models are compared based on parameters such as the number of layers, attention heads, key value size, dimensionality, D model, learning rate, max LR, and batch size. From the smallest to the largest, the models range from 44 million to 280 billion parameters. As the models increase in size, there's a corresponding increase in complexity and capacity, indicated by a greater number of layers and attention heads. The key value size, which affects the attention mechanism's ability to focus on different parts of the input sequence, also increases with model size. 
The D model represents the dimensionality of the token embeddings, with the largest model having a D model of 16,384, suggesting a very high dimensional space for representing the nuances of language. The learning rate, which controls how much the model weights are updated during training, decreases as the models grow larger. This is likely because smaller adjustments are necessary when fine-tuning a model with a vast number of parameters to prevent overfitting and ensure stable learning. Batch size, the number of training examples used in one iteration, significantly increases with the largest model. Starting at 0.25 million for the smaller models, it scales up to 3 million and then to 6 million for the Gopher 280B, suggesting a higher computational capacity and efficiency at scale. Overall, this detailed breakdown showcases how increasing model size in terms of parameters necessitates adjustments in architectural hyperparameters to effectively manage the complexity and computational demands of training such advanced machine learning models. The Gopher model, at its peak with 280 billion parameters, reflects the forefront of language model development with state-of-the-art performance on a broad array of tasks at the time. The T0 model, developed by San et al., detailed in the paper, multitask prompted training enables zero-shot task generalization from March 2022, is a transformative encoder-decoder system designed for broad adaptability in natural language processing. It is trained across a multitude of tasks, as represented in this figure, ranging from multiple choice question answering, close book question answering, structure to text, sentence completion, big bench, natural language inference, sentiment, summarization, paraphrase identification, topic classification, extractive question answering, co-reference resolution, and word sense disambiguation. These are used to prepare the model for zero-shot task generalization, where it's performing tasks it has not been directly trained on by leveraging its understanding of the structure and intent behind diverse prompts, as shown in this illustration of how T0 model works. QQP and XSUM exemplifies the versatility in prompt design, employing a variety of prompt templates that are integral to the model's ability to understand and execute tasks presented in different natural language formats. Each dataset has multiple prompt templates consisting of an input and a target template, they use the fields of raw data examples as well as template metadata. For example, the left paraphrasing identification prompts use what is referred to as choices, which consists of a template level list variable where the first element might be called quote, not duplicates quote, and the second element is quote duplicates. These prompts underpin the flexibility of the T0 model, enabling it to navigate across the spectrum of tasks and their varied phrasing. Here, we see a comparison of T0's task generalization performance with that of different iterations of the GPT-3 model. Each dot is the performance of one evaluation prompt. The baseline T5 plus LM model is the same as T0 except without multitask prompted training. GPT-3 only reports a single prompt for each dataset. The figure demonstrates that multitask prompted training can significantly enhance model performance, with T0 achieving higher accuracy across evaluation prompts compared to GPT-3. Big Bench, short for Beyond the Imitation Game Benchmark, is a collaborative project designed to push the limits of large language models, LLMs, by evaluating them on a wide array of tasks. This benchmark suite focuses on tasks that are considered challenging for current language models, attempting to measure and extrapolate their capabilities. Big Bench includes tasks from simple language understanding to complex reasoning, with the aim of understanding both the present and future potential of these AI systems. The suite is notable for its scale, including more than 200 diverse tasks, which allow researchers to assess the model's abilities in detail. This illustration shows the results for a subset of Big Bench, which has available baselines. The baseline models are transformer-based language models provided by Big Bench maintainers, who also provide one prompt per dataset. We can see that T0, T0+, and T0++ are identical, except for increasing number of training datasets. It provides a comparative analysis on a subset of the Big Bench benchmark with T0 and its iterations, T0 Plus and T0 Plus Plus, outperforming the baseline models in zero-shot scenarios across diverse tasks like conceptual, code description, misconceptions, language ID, logic grid, vitamin C, novel concepts, and logical deduction, indicating the effectiveness of training on a wider range of datasets. This illustration examines the impact of an increasing number of training prompts per dataset. The zero-shot performance of T0 and T5LM can be seen in green and blue in the plots. Each dot is the performance of one evaluation prompt. The key takeaway is that adding more training prompts consistently leads to improved median performance for T0 and generally lower interquartile range for held out tax, meaning that there's less discrepancy, suggesting that diversity in training examples strengthens the model's predictive capacity. This chart shows the effects of prompts from more datasets. This highlights the benefits of expanding the number of datasets in the training regime. As T0 evolves into T0 plus and T0 plus plus, the zero-shot performance of the models exhibits consistent improvements in median scores across tasks. The contributions from the work done from the T0 model demonstrates the value of extensive training data in developing models capable of generalizing across unseen tasks.
the work of San et al. showcases that through the innovative approach of multitask-prompted training, language models can achieve exceptional zero-shot generalization capabilities. This training strategy serves as a potent alternative to traditional unsupervised pre-training methods, often propelling the T0 model to surpass the performance of significantly larger models. The ablation studies further elucidate the critical role of a vast array of diverse prompts and demonstrate the positive impact of augmenting the number of datasets in task training. In the spirit of collaboration and advancement of the field, the authors generously provide open access to the T0 models, the extensive prompt collection, and their prompt annotation tool, thereby equipping the research community with the resources to forge ahead in enhancing zero-shot generalization in language models. This gesture paves the way for continued exploration and innovation, setting a new benchmark in the realm of AI and natural language processing. Ernie 3.0, proposed by Sun et al. in July 2021, is a unified framework for pre-training large-scale knowledge-enhanced models and contributed to taking a significant leap in pre-training methodologies for language models in 2021. Distinguished by its hybrid architecture that amalgamates the strengths of both autoregressive and autoencoding designs, this synergetic framework was designed to enhance the model's adeptness at tasks across the spectrum of natural language processing. It leverages a massive corpus of textual data alongside a comprehensive knowledge graph, as illustrated in the figure showing the universal knowledge text prediction, enabling it to incorporate a broader context and deeper understanding into its language representations. This 10 billion parameter model showcases a proficiency in zero-shot learning, where it can make inferences for tasks without prior exposure, few-shot learning, which requires only a handful of examples to grasp a new task, and fine-tuning, allowing for task-specific optimizations. The underlying structure of Ernie 3.0 is optimized to learn continually from large-scale text data, enriching its pre-existing knowledge base with every new piece of information. Ernie 3.0's ability to simultaneously understand and generate natural language underpinned by its extensive training on diverse data, set a new bar in 2021 for the capabilities of knowledge-enhanced models. By drawing from vast, structured knowledge repositories and adapting to various NLP tasks with minimal guidance, Ernie 3.0 helped step language models closer to a more nuanced and human-like understanding and interaction with language, as delineated in the original studies and papers detailing its development. The Retro, Retrieval Enhanced Transformer model, as introduced by Borgo et al., represents a significant advancement in autoregressive language models. Retro innovates by conditioning the generation of tokens on chunks of text retrieved from a massive 2 trillion token dataset, effectively enabling the model to leverage a broader context during the training phase. This mechanism utilizes a frozen BERT-based K-nearest neighbors, KNN, retriever to identify relevant document chunks based on their semantic similarity to the input. The architecture, as depicted here, integrates this retrieval mechanism with a transformer model composed of an embedding layer, an attention mechanism, a chunked cross-attention CCA component, and a feed-forward layer within each retro block. The CCA is particularly crucial, allowing the model to attend to different segments of retrieved text in a manner that respects the sequential nature of language, thus enhancing the contextual awareness of the language model. Retro's efficiency and performance, achieving results comparable to GPT-3 and Jurassic 1, while utilizing 25% fewer parameters, demonstrate its potential to inform the design of more parameter-efficient LLMs. This development is particularly relevant given the current trajectory towards ever-larger models, suggesting alternative pathways to achieve advanced linguistic capabilities without proportionately increasing computational demands. The methodology and findings of Borgo et al. contribute valuable insights into the ongoing discourse on optimizing the interplay between size, complexity, and performance in the field of natural language processing. GLAM, or Generalist Language Model, is a transformative approach in the development of large language models, standing out for its innovative mixture of experts, MOE, architecture. This sparsely activated design significantly reduces the computation resources and energy required during training, enabling the model to achieve superior performance on a range of natural language processing tasks with a substantially lower environmental impact. At the core of GLAM's architecture are the MOE layers, which introduce a gating mechanism to selectively activate only the most relevant experts for a given input. This allows GLAM to scale up to a colossal 1.2 trillion parameters, about seven times the size of GPT-3, while still conserving computational efficiency. In practice, this architecture consumes merely a third of the energy and half the computation flops, which stands for floating point operations per second, required by GPT-3 for similar tasks. The illustration shows that MOE layers are interlaced with transformer layers, which is the bedrock of modern LLMs, known for their self-attention mechanisms that weigh the significance of different parts of the input data. In essence, each MOE layer comprises multiple subnetworks, or experts, each specializing in different fragments of the data. The gating layer then determines which experts output to prioritize based on the context of the input. 
Such an architecture not only enables greater parameter efficiency, but also allows GLAM to excel in zero-shot, one-shot, and few-shot learning scenarios across diverse NLP tasks, demonstrating a level of generalization that was previously unattainable with denser models. GLAM's advancements have been well-documented in the studies by Du et al., showcasing its potential to pave the way for more environmentally sustainable and cost-effective training of powerful LLMs, furthering the progression of AI language understanding and generation capabilities. Lambda, developed by Romal Thopalin's team at Google in 2022, stands as a novel contribution to the field of large language models, specifically crafted for the intricacies of dialogue. This model diverges from general-purpose LLMs by focusing on conversations, embodying up to 137 billion parameters, as shown in this illustration, its uniqueness lies in the specialized pre-training on a massive corpus of 1.56 trillion words derived from public dialogues and web text, giving it a strong foundation in human-like conversational patterns. Unlike traditional LLMs, which may struggle with dialogue-specific nuances, Lambda's architecture is fine-tuned with annotated conversational data. This includes quality metric that uses a dataset using a 6400 dialogues with binary labels indicating sensibleness, specificity, and interestingness, and an evaluation dataset using a crowd worker annotated data, where responses given the context are labeled for sensibleness, specificity, and interestingness on a common benchmark dataset. Safety metric is measured by using a dataset of 8,000 dialogues with binary labels for each safety objectives and evaluated using crowd workers to label the response given the context using safety objectives. Likewise, groundedness is measured similarly with a dataset of 4,000 dialogues and evaluated using 784 responses from crowd workers. This deliberate training enables the model to navigate complex dialogues and maintain coherent and contextually relevant exchanges. Further, by integrating external knowledge sources as shown in the illustration, Lambda can achieve a higher degree of safety and factual accuracy in its responses. Lambda handles groundedness through interactions with an external information retrieval system. The blue box is the model, yellow box is the input to the model, and the red box is the output of the model. TS is the toolset which includes the information retrieval system, a calculator, and a translator. The green box is the output of an information retrieval system tool. As discussed in the main text, the Lambda-based model is called first, followed by sequential calls to the Lambda research model. The choice between querying the information retrieval system or responding to the user is determined by the first word output by Lambda Research, which identifies the next recipient. Lambda is basically a model designed to make conversations with AI feel more natural and informative. Here's how it works in simple terms. Imagine Lambda as a clever robot that can talk to you and look things up to make sure it's giving you the right information. When you ask it something, that's the yellow part, it uses its own knowledge, the blue part, to start crafting an answer, the red part. But sometimes, Lambda needs to check facts or get more details to give you the best answer. That's when it turns to its smart helper, an information search tool, the green part, to pull in accurate information from outside sources. Lambda has two main parts, Lambda Base, which is the basic level that tries to answer first, and Lambda Research, which is like the advanced level that takes over to add more details or check facts. Lambda Research decides whether it should reply directly to you or ask its helper to fetch more information. It makes this decision based on the first word it's thinking of saying in response. This first word is a signal that tells Lambda either to continue talking to you or to consult the information tool before responding. In short, Lambda works by combining what it already knows with new information from the internet to have conversations that are as helpful and accurate as possible. It is this targeted design and training approach that allows Lambda to generate responses that are not only contextually aware, but also grounded in real-world information addressing common concerns about misinformation and the ethical use of AI in conversations. This illustration breaks down the contributions of quality safety fine-tuning and groundedness fine-tuning to our final results using the largest model. There's a general increase in performance across all metrics between pre-training, PT, and fine-tuning FT quality safety. Groundedness further improves from FT quality safety to FT groundedness, which is what Lambda is about. It is meant to ground the model-generated statements about the external world on an information retrieval system. The development of Lambda marks another milestone in creating conversational agents that understand and generate human-like dialogue by studying the importance of scale, using modest amounts of crowd-annotated data for fine-tuning while still achieving significant performance gains, and the use of information retrieval as a tool in dialogue modeling. These efforts push the boundaries of natural language understanding and generation. The research by Google's team provides crucial insights into tackling the challenges inherent to conversational AI, specifically in making interactions more natural, informative, and safe. As such, Lambda paved the way for advanced dialogue systems that could revolutionize how we interact with machines, enhancing user experience and expanding the applicability of LLMs in various industries. That wraps up today's video. If you loved what you saw, 
smash that like button, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more awesome content. Drop us a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and get a conversation going. Catch you in the next one.